Creepy Carrots, Words Aaron Reynolds, Pictures Peter Brown. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Cracker Hop and Field were the best. Fat, crispy, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots until they started following him. First, he noticed something strange after the big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister, thunk, thunk, thunk of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night he was brushing his teeth. There they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked up his toothbrush off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning he approached Cracker Hop and Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Phew, creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom, Mom, Jasper screamed, creepy carrots in the shed. His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in his bed, he heard it, breathing, terrible carroty breath. And there, on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, Dad, Dad. His dad thumped into the bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers, no creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't gonna happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real and they were coming for him, but they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Kraken Field. After the sun finally set across Cracker Hop and Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tunk, tunk, tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Kraken Hop and Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into the carrot patch ever again. The end.